Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Rebecca Elaine, and we are back with another vlog. Um, as y'all can see, I'm starting my morning with a little um, yogurt bowl, and it's so good. I've been using um, the non-dairy yogurts, which has been a life changer for me as far as like my mornings, um, and it's, it's really, really good. <coughs> Excuse me. So today is Monday morning. I'm off today, so I'm really just kind of relaxing. I've already, well, I've been a little bit productive this morning. I've um, just cleaned up. I cleaned up my mantle, so there's nothing on top of there. I separated some stuff that, more things that are going to go to the Goodwill. Um, just little things here and there. I'm starting my vlog a day late because yesterday was kind of just like, I don't know. I was like in a funk. Um, I wasn't feeling it. I stayed in the house almost all day. I went to the grocery store first thing in the morning. Um, and I made, <coughs> excuse me, hold on one second. This granola is like in my throat. Hold on. <laughs> Whew, sorry, y'all. I had to get some water. But yeah, I went to the grocery store early yesterday morning. And um, I ended up cooking yesterday. Well, I really, I made some um, hot chocolate. It was so good. Oh my God. I'm going to have to make it on camera for you guys this week because it was really, really good. Um, it's basically, I made a, um, a non-dairy once again um kit kat hot chocolate with like some um the almond milk and i actually was able to find some coconut milk whipped cream oh my god it was so good but i made that in the morning and that kind of made me feel like kind of good um but i was still in the funk like most of the day i cooked dinner i made some um curry shrimp which i used the curry that i brought from japan so that was my first time like not making my own curry but it was really good it was a different flavor it wasn't like Caribbean curry. It was more like Japanese curry, but nonetheless, it was very good. I made homemade mac and cheese, but I used the rotini noodle, noodles, like the little spirals, which was so, so good, um, and broccoli. So I cooked dinner, so that was good. So I still managed to get up and about. I finished all my laundry. So last week on my to-do list, the laundry was one of three things I didn't do, um, but I did go ahead and finish all my laundry yesterday too. So I was productive. I just didn't want to pick up the camera because to be honest with y'all, I was like <laughs> crying throughout the day. It's just every once in a while, like I just get in like these little like, I don't know, moods. Um, everything is good. There's nothing going on. It's just sometimes I get in those moods and I'd rather not get on the camera. Anyway, so I'm starting a day late, but luckily we are off today. So um, a couple things that are my, on my agenda for sure is I definitely need to work out. Um, yesterday was a break day from exercising and I was going to force myself to exercise, um, but <clears throat> I didn't because I ended up like taking like a long shower to help me feel good and then I didn't want to um, exercise and have to shower again so I was like you know what it's the break day let's just go ahead and take the break um, but today is a hit workout day for I think like 30 or 40 minutes so um, we're gonna do that at some point I've been binge watching Married to Medicine um, at the uh, recommendation of Grace, who we met at the end of last vlog. If you guys didn't catch it, make sure you go back and watch it. But um, we met Grace while we were hiking um, and she recommended Married to Medicine. I'm so glad she did because I've been binge watching this show and that's what I'm about to continue doing right now. Um, and besides that, as far as the day, just little things. Like I said, I've already been kind of doing little things, cleaning up. My stairs has a lot of stuff right here. Um, let me show you guys. I've been like migrating everything that way and it's stuff around the corner on the stairs too because um, I just really want to get stuff out of the house. Um, I still need to buy a 
a shelf for my um how to I still need to buy a shelf for my garage and so I can put those things in there. I just haven't found the time to do that. But anyway, I'm going to finish my breakfast. Um, my little brother just texted me so I'm about to go ahead and talk to him. And I will talk to you guys later. Y'all, who has watched Married to Medicine? I'm on a reunion of the first season. This thing got me like... <laughs> like oh my gosh i haven't watched like a reality tv show like this in a long time usually i'm watching like um married at first sight um 90 day fiance that's the type of like reality tv i watch but this is taking me back to like the days of watching um like uh loving hip-hop and stuff i mean it's not as bad <laughs> but i mean this is good though i'm just into it and i was laughing at myself because i caught myself like this i'm like oh my god i'm like underneath here i'm like <laughs> but it's a little bit chilly in here but i just really don't feel like standing up to turn on the heat so i'm like i'm just in my little hoodie sweatshirt i really don't think i'm gonna move from this couch i might hang out with my friend ashley tonight uh, oh i do have to work out no matter what i gotta work out so maybe i'll work out then hang out like work out shower hang out with ashley uh and then come home but for now for the next couple hours baby i'm about to be right here what time is it 10:35? I'm about to be right. Oh, 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 by the way, what do y'all think of my new um, intro? It's not as like, I, I wanted it to be a little bit more minimal, and but I worked on it last night, y'all. Sometimes, I think I told y'all before, like when I get an ideal, sorry, this light is like right behind me. Let me change this. When I get an ideal, I'll it comes to me like in the middle of the night or when I'm showering or when I'm driving. This time around, um, in the middle of the night, I was just like, oh, I want to change my intro. And I got up last night. Uh, I'll talk about it because now <laughs> I'm tired. Um, I mean, it's reminded me that I was up all night last night. But I got up last night about like midnight and I made it because I was like, I just want something new and like clean and I don't know. So anyway, I added it to last week's vlog actually. So y'all saw it last week. So we probably talked about it during Wind Down Wednesday. But um, I definitely want to hear from y'all even in the comment section. I mean, we'll probably talk about it during this wind down Wednesday but in the comment section too I want y'all let me know what you think uh, but anyway I'm about to continue to chillax y'all your girl has been on the couch all day long all day um and I really didn't have any intention of getting up but I knew that I agreed to meet for dinner tonight so I had to get up <laughs> and put myself together lord it's such it's so hard I don't know what this funk is that I've been in, but I really wish that I can get over it. Oh, I need to find a purse. I should just wear the purse that I was wearing all week. It have nothing to do with my outfit, but oh well. Shout out to T. She got this for me for Christmas. So this is the one that I will wear. Um, what do I need? Yeah, y'all. I don't know. I thought I was feeling better, and then I wasn't. Um... So I don't know y'all, but I'm gonna go ahead and go to dinner. Sorry, I'm walking around trying to grab some stuff. My AirPods, just in case I gotta talk on the phone. Some chapstick, I got my wallet. I need to take out the trash because I cooked that shrimp yesterday. And I kept on thinking I was walking past the um, kitchen. And I'm like, damn, that shrimp smell real potent. Oh, should I need car keys? I'm like, that shrimp smell real potent because I got leftovers in the refrigerator and I had cooked leftovers earlier too or warmed up leftovers to eat. So I was like, damn, I still smell those leftovers. And then I had to think about it. I was like, oh no, that's the trash. And it might smell good right now because I seasoned the shrimp real good, but after another day or so, it ain't gonna smell good. So let's get our butts out of here. Oh, y'all. I am so tired of wearing the same clothes. It's not even funny. Like, that's one of the reasons that I don't want to go no damn where. Ooh, it's so blurry. I don't know what's going on. This camera's like, girl, you got all the lights off in the house. It just make me think about my uh, my adopted mother. When that, like, I was in the funk one time years and years ago. And she was like, uh, she's like, what you doing? And I'm like, nothing sitting in the house. I think we're going to FaceTime or something. It was dark in my room. She was like, girl, you better open them curtains and let the Lord in. <laughs> I'm trying to hurry up so I can get down there. I feel like I'm going to end up talking to say before I go, which would be good. Because then that way, 
I can like talk to him and then do dinner and then talk to him after dinner. Versus I hate like if he called me, I really, really hate to say it, I gotta call you back. Like, I don't like that. I don't know why, I just don't like that. I'd rather just talk, but. Oh, all right. And Lord knows I gotta work out. I don't even know if I'm gonna do it. I might have to double up. <sighs> keys, let me put my keys. Let's go, I'm gonna pick y'all up at the restaurant. I didn't knock my bun sideways. <laughs> Oh God, this is my life, my real life. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you and your guests. Yeah, 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 why? Yeah, in yeah, my mind. Yeah, in yeah, my mind. I ain't got a clue, bro. I said five in the morning. I wake up to five for my yearnings. Yeah, in my mind is a warning. Pray to the one you're alive. Hey y'all, hey, happy Tuesday. Y'all, I most definitely left my phone right in, or my camera right in the car last night. And I realized that as I was walking in the house and I'm like, I'm not going back into the garage and none of that. So, <laughs> I did not pick the camera. Um, what did my night look like last night? Nothing crazy. Um, this morning I, I did my workout, but I only did 20 minutes. I was feeling like very like sluggish, so. I, I didn't really work out too much um but i am and i didn't work out yesterday by the way so i did yesterday's workout this morning and i need to do today's workout this afternoon um yesterday's workout should have been a 30 minute hit i did 15 minutes of hit and then 15 minutes on the bike just to kind of like how to or how much should i work out today no i did 15 minutes of hit and then maybe five to ten minutes on the bike yeah, I worked out 25 minutes, so 10 minutes on the bike. Um, anyway, so today I'm going to do today's workout this afternoon. Um, this morning, I did have a pretty productive morning because I, when I woke up, I woke up at like 4.37. And initially, I was like stirring around. I'm like, uh, do I really want to um, get up right now? Maybe I should try and go back to sleep. But the thing is, my alarm goes off at 5 o'clock anyway. So I was like, okay, let's just get up. So I got out of bed by like 4.45, and that's when I kind of kicked off my workout. Um, but that kind of allowed me to do everything early as far as showering, doing my hair, getting dressed, all the things. So I ended up cooking me breakfast this morning. I had some sausage and eggs that I made. Um, I made my lunch this morning because I didn't do it last night. Um, what else? I was able to talk on the phone for like over an hour. So it was a pretty productive morning. Um, and then this morning at work, I've just been working on like little things here and there. I have my to-do list um, that I've been kind of like checking things off on. So um, I see a patient in about 45 minutes from now. So I'm excited. It's my first patient of my new command. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I kind of need to do another chart review. I did my chart review last week, but... Um, I'm not going to OD it. I'm, I'm just going to talk to her and kind of get like a history from the patient. But anyway, I just wanted to check in because I was like, I, I wasn't going to finish this vlog. I, honestly, I was like, because I knew I wasn't feeling it on Sunday. Yesterday was kind of like a whatever. Um, and then this morning, like everything that I did this morning, I couldn't vlog because my um, camera was in the car. So initially I was like, I'm not even going to put out a vlog next week. Um, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I was like, I've been consistent. I want to remain consistent. Um, one thing that I, I noticed though, is like, so y'all know we've been doing Wind Down Wednesday and that's been at night. So at eight o'clock at night, Eastern time, five o'clock for me. Um, and what I noticed is I'm not getting my same numbers as when I was dropping my vlogs at 8 in the morning. And although I really, really love the Wind Down Wednesday, like, community and kind of, like, connecting with you all in, in that moment, I want to see if, um, my numbers are going to change. Well, no matter what, this week, um, which is tomorrow, the vlog is going to go out at 8 in the morning. You guys would have already seen it, but it went out, it's going to go out at 8 in the morning because, um... I have an event to go to tomorrow after work, so I wasn't going to have time for Wind Down Wednesday anyway, so I was like, well, it's no point in delaying the vlog if I'm not going to be chatting with everyone, so that's going to be like my experiment to see um, what time I need to let these vlogs come out, because if I get back to my normal view count when I drop it in the morning, then we might have to like re- 
think wind down Wednesday one thing I was thinking about is I can actually go live like literally go live and just talk about the vlog after so everyone would have seen it by the end of the night and we can go live and talk about it so that's one option another option is um just meeting in the comment section so at the same time like eight o'clock um eastern time five o'clock uh west coast time and whatever time that is depending on where you live we can meet in the comment section and just talk about like the vlog that way so those are options um so we'll see we'll see we'll see like i say it depends on how things go with the vlog tomorrow which you guys would have already seen um but I'm going to go ahead and enjoy the rest of my lunch. I already ate. I just packed a salad. Um, I'm trying not to eat the rest of my snacks. So I have, um, I have an orange left. Um, let me show y'all. I basically pack the same thing every day. But usually by the end of the day, I'll have four things left, including a cheese stick. So I got some crackers, um, applesauce, and orange. And usually by now, I'll have some cheese, a cheese stick too. But... I've been eating macaroni and cheese for dinner, so <laughs> we don't want to have too much cheese in the system. Um, so I'm trying not to eat anything right now because I know that I'm going to get hungry by toward the end, of the end of the day. So I'll probably have something after my patient and then I'll do my note and have something after I write my note. Because I'm using a new platform for notes, so it might take me a lot longer than it normally would. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to take some time and actually speak to y'all because I feel like um the first day i wasn't feeling it yesterday i was kind of rushing and today is a little bit more chill but i'll talk to you guys a little bit later peace you guys <laughs> i'm home i'm literally like trying to debate am i gonna put this vlog out <laughs> because it's just not like i'm not doing anything like i normally do as far as like just this this time in the week i would have had so much footage already and I don't. Uh, I'm cooking right now. I swear I was going to record me cooking, but then I was on the phone and I was like, um, the conversation is more important than me like recording food. So <laughs> I don't know. I know I'm going out tomorrow to a play and I think that'll be cool to see and fun. So I'm really hoping that I'll be able to redeem myself by the end of the week. I mean, it's only Tuesday. But like I say, usually Sunday is like a whole event <laughs> and then I get into things on Monday and by now I'm like, okay, we're doing well. We are not doing well, but um, I'm cooking some chicken thighs, some boneless skinless chicken thighs. I'm just cooking it in the air fryer so you guys might be able to hear that. Um, I'm playing Pokemon. I just logged into the game and I saw all these different um, Pokemon on the screen and I forgot on Tuesdays it's like a, it's called a spotlight hour where the same Pokemon don't mind me just don't worry about it <laughs> um but anyway um one thing i was hoping to show you guys is i ordered a new necklace and it's out for delivery let's see where it's at um because i do want to show you guys my new necklace from vosh official almost all of my jewelry comes from vosh official which i really really love um let me refresh this it says out for delivery but let me just refresh it to make sure <clears throat> and it's so cute like i want to show y'all i got my name on it um oh it looks like it's really close to my house actually so it'll be coming soon so yeah i'll show y'all that i'll also show y'all the chicken ah, let me show you the chicken now while it's cooking <laughs> i made some i think i told you i made mac and cheese and all that earlier this week so that's or yesterday so that's what i'm gonna eat tonight but i already flipped it so this is the second half of it cooking so this is the back half so it's still looking kind of white but it is cooking 12 more minutes on there um i feel like i've been over cooking my chicken because i've been cooking it on 375 so today i think i put it on 365 i think um and i'm cooking it for 15 minutes on each side so we'll see how that goes um what else i am still supposed to work out today i don't know i'm not uh, We'll talk about it later. <laughs>
Next up is the bike for 15 minutes. I'm trying to hurry up. I'm about to go ahead and turn on the TV. I'll just watch some TV while I'm riding. Even though it's kind of hard to see the TV because the, um, the thing on the bike, but I can just listen to it. <laughs> I've been watching Married to Medicine. It's been pretty interesting, so I'll just listen. But uh, once I finish the bike, I'll just let y'all know. Um, I'll just check in and show y'all my watch that I finished. Alrighty, y'all. I know the lighting all morning has been kind of wild, but I'm finished. Let me check in with my girls. Let them know that I did it. 15 minutes. There we go. Ooh, okay. It is 5.40. I'm going to go ahead and shower. I'll talk to y'all later on today. like superwoman i'm not even gonna lie as far as like changing in this office and then i was trying to like creep past my or outside of my office because i didn't want nobody to see me in my own clothes <laughs> i don't know why but i didn't want them to be like okay ma'am so i am um just now we're actually we're about to go eat and then we we're gonna go see a play i forgot the name of the play choir boy so the play called choir boy so let me know if you guys have heard First of it floor. um and i'll definitely like leave my review afterwards Hardest style to do for me, but oh, let me know my battery is about dead. That's crazy. Just a vlogger. Oh, just like. afternoon it's end of the day everybody's gone for today i'm about to get ready to go but i figured hold on. <laughs> every time i see my fingerprints on the lens i'm like i gotta do better i did i, I feel like i made it worse <laughs> hold on. okay anyway i figure um i will talk to y'all before i go home because lord knows i don't know like what i'm gonna be doing when i go home anyway so um first of all i uh my my phone died like or my um camera died last night while we were at dinner i think i was able to show y'all just to the point where we were getting to the theater um uh, which i saw choir boy so i wanted to give y'all like my thoughts about it um so i had already knew about the play because um i listen to podcasts all the time and one of the podcasts that i listened to was called black love matters and um they talked about it they went to go see it um so I guess this will be like a spoiler so make sure if you plan to go see this you want to skip this section and I'll, I'll kind of put on the bottom when I'm done um, so essentially the way it's described in the playbill is um, creating a space for black boys to become black men um, and essentially that's what it was it was kind of like the setting was like an all-boys school um, as far as the theater that I went to and I don't know I mean I'm assuming that they have to have the same it has i don't know <laughs> what am i trying to say 
the theater that I went to was like a 360 theater where everybody like sits around the stage and is in the middle and I like that like I thoroughly enjoyed that I've never gone to a show like that before so that aspect I loved um I also love that there's a scene there's several scenes in the um in the play that is actually like a shower and so like water was coming down so I was like that's really cool too so um I, I really really enjoyed that um but like I'm saying the setting is supposed to be a school so um basically the play opens up with like the headmaster of the school and like the boys singing because the boys are in a choir um and it's it pretty much centers around one boy who is um a queer boy and you can tell that he's queer and so while he's singing like people are like um yelling out like slurs like, towards him and so it's just like the story centering around like him being queer but also being in the choir and having like these big dreams or whatever um all in all I think that the story was good but it was rushed um by the end it was rushed um from speaking to some of my friends that are in that space as far as like the LGBTQ community, it, it seemed like it was good representation. Um, so I'm kind of speaking from their response to it. Um, like I said, for me, it was overall a good show, but I, I did give it a 7 out of 10 because it was rushed. Um, the script was, I mean, there were parts in the script I think that was thought provoking, but there are also parts that I felt like it it was left out like discussions that could have been had um, but nonetheless I enjoyed it the the setting or like the stage I don't know what we call, what, what we would call that like the stage production or something I gave it a 10 out of 10 because when that shower came coming off the top like I'm like oh it's really water and then it was steam coming out the bottom I was like okay and then like I said the 360 view like no one had a bad seat to be honest because the play like they did things in a way that would cater to each section of the theater so I really really enjoyed that um and then it was cool because we were able to meet some of the actors afterwards like as we were leaving and stuff so I think that was really cool but your girl didn't get home until like 11 o'clock last night and then when I got home I had some mail which I got some new sneakers I'll show y'all when I go home um so I am tired and I still woke up this morning as y'all saw and did my workout. Um, but I'm about to go home, but I'm just going to go ahead and insert a, a funny clip. So today is the Navy's birthday, so November 13th. So happy birthday to the U.S. Navy. Um, I think we're at 237 years. Now I feel like I need to look that up. But the clip that I'm about to insert is in my clinic. I guess it's a tradition on the Navy's birthday to do like a pinata situation because inside of the pinata is special liberty. <laughs> and so I let the corpsman convince me to like hit the pinata. Um, let me see, Navy birthday. I hope I got that right. Yeah, I let them convince me to hit a pinata. So I'm just going to go ahead and insert that. Um, did I say November? October 13th. But what year? What what uh what year? 247 years. So it's our birthday. So happy birthday to anyone that's watching that might be in the Navy. Um I'll insert that clip and then I'll see you guys at home so I can show you my stuff. Oh, what I was pretty happy about was the final year. Sweet! 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 Sweet!
you guys i am home we got our girl essence thriving back there she's doing so good y'all i can't believe i really think it was that i was over watering my plants all i had to do was a little bit of research and i would have been okay but she is thriving i'm happy about her um but anyway let's talk about packages so i already opened everything because i was on the phone when i came home and i'm like i need to open it um but uh and one thing i opened yesterday so first thing i'll show y'all is something that um it's not even gonna work because y'all know last week if you watched last week i um dropped my camera and then i lost the um what is this called the wind shield yeah the wind shield from the top of my camera well i bought this one online it was only eight dollars but it, i did verify if it was compatible with my camera and it said it was but turns out there's no clip or anything to connect it to my camera so I guess it's not so i need to figure out if i'm gonna try and like put it on there some type of way or just i don't even know um so that's number one number two from bosh official so i love that i got a card um and or she kind of personalized my card and it says rebecca thank you thank you thank you you're always supporting i hope you love your new vo piece xo vow which yes i love it i can't wait to wear it i might wear it tomorrow um so let me show y'all i want to give it justice like i feel like i'm not gonna give it justice holding it but look at it if you can't tell by now i love my name <laughs> so anything that got my name on it i am here for it so I can't wait to wear it. Let's try it on. I haven't tried it on yet. Of course, I got on this work t-shirt, so it may not be as cute as it would be if I was just dressed. And I don't even have all my clothes, so it's not even like I can get dressed. But nonetheless, oh, come on. My nails have been, like, just been annoying me lately. Hold on. We got to get this. The problem is my thumb is kind of stuck. Okay. One more time. I'll probably wear it as a choker, I think. Or like, it won't be as far down. But this is how it looks on. But there are three um, loops. And I got it on the longest one. So I would likely wear it like up here or something. So it can really stretch out my name. But what do y'all think? I'm so happy. I love this. When I saw that she was making these, I was like, ooh, I can't wait till she announced the drop. Because one thing Val's going to do, she's going to wear her jewelry and you'll kind of notice it. And, you know, she'll kind of, I think, like, get the the looks from us. Like, ooh, what's that? When is that dropping? And so I was doing that as soon as I saw her wearing it. So once she announced the drop, I was on it. I was like, oh, yeah, I got to get me one. So I really, really love this piece. Again, from Bosch Official. Ah. I can't even show you guys right because I didn't put it in there right. But um, you guys will know when I'm wearing it for sure. I love this piece. Um, and then the last thing that I got, which I actually opened last night because it was waiting on me when I came home last night at like 11 o'clock. I'm like, thank God I live in a nice neighborhood because, uh, hello, it was waiting at my door instead of in like the little lockbox. Um, but we got some kicks. I don't know what's going on with my camera. Let me show y'all these babies that I, back in the day when I had first joined the Navy, um, this pack dropped with another pair and I thought they were fly, but for some reason I didn't like them. I ended up getting a different pair that dropped at the same time as that pack, which was a Carolina blue pair. Um, so these dropped with the if you guys remember in 07 if you're like a sneakerhead then in 07 they dropped in a pack with the um the bread ones like the red red on here and red there with the black and white um and then also some blue ones dropped and i ended up getting the carolina blue ones but these came in the mail last night and i am so happy let me show y'all the one that's actually laced up they are so cute. I got so many things. Well, not like so many things, but I know for sure I got like three babe t-shirts I can wear with this, a babe sweatshirt I can wear with this. Um, just some regular like day-to-day -day clothes. My rain jacket matches this. Like, I just love these. Because usually, to be honest, it's so weird. Whenever I wear this color yellow, I usually wear my green um, ones with it. And it just kind of like a, a color blocking situation. But I love these so much. Um, let me show y'all what I opted out 
when I opted out of these back in 07, I'm gonna show y'all when I ended up what I ended up getting. Hold on. Here, you know what? Come on, let's just go to the sneaker closet. My damn tripod hasn't been working where I can like turn the camera on and off, but whatever. Maybe that's just meant get up, let's go on a field trip to the sneakers, which again I'm still missing a great deal of my sneakers that are in the middle of the ocean coming from Japan. But ooh, these sneakers are <laughs> I'm about to show y'all. I've had these since 20, I mean, since 2007, since I joined the Navy. This is the first pair of kicks I bought when I got out of boot camp. Right here. The color is weird because it's like yellow light from my bathroom, but also they're so old that this is like fading, but I don't even care. It gives it like that faded look, but I love these. <laughs> Hold on. They're kind of like old now faded real bad but these are what i opted uh, opted to get instead of the yellow toe and you see like michael jordan detail in there <laughs> they are so dirty i don't even care i still wear these from time to time um yeah these are my first pair of post navy sneakers so i've had these sneakers as long as i've been in the navy which is over 15 years almost 16 which is correct right so yeah, I wonder what was my second pair of sneakers. Can I remember? Do I still have them? Oh, hold on. I'm telling y'all, so my sneakers, I can go down like memory lane. This footage is so choppy because I'm like moving the camera around. But I can really go down memory lane. But as far as what I'm looking at right now, I don't remember if I bought any of these while I was in um, boot camp. Cause I used to wear Air Force Ones all the time. So of course you go through Air Force Ones, like whatever, you don't keep them long. Um, so I know I was rocking Air Force Ones. Um, what other sneakers was I rocking? Oh, I was rocking some, uh, <laughs> damn, what are they called? Uh, it's like on the tip of my tongue. Some Penny Hardaways, I think. What are they called Penny Hardaways? I can't remember. I love them sneakers, though. I know I got pictures with them, too. If I feel like it, I'm going to go through the pictures. I'm going to show y'all. I don't think they're pennies. I can't remember the name of them, though. But I remember that's what I was rocking. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm about to warm up my food from yesterday. I have a lot of edamame left and a half of a chicken sandwich. So, I'm going to eat that and pretty much chill for the night. I need to clean my house, y'all. Like, I got stuff, I feel like, all over the place. It's not, like, terrible, but... We need to do better. This has just been like an on go type of week. And the thing is, tomorrow, I'm supposed to be going to another play with my girl Grace. Shout out to Grace because she just recently subscribed to my channel. Um, but she invited me to a play um, at the theater that she works at. So I'm probably going to go to another play tomorrow right after work. Well, I'm going to come home because yesterday I didn't come home. I think I told y'all from work. I changed at work and then I went straight to meet up with Ashley and we went to the play with um, two other people. But um tomorrow i'm going by myself uh like she'll be there but i think she'll be working so i don't know um so yeah i'm gonna come home first change y'all i'm so tired have i said this before i'm so tired of wearing the same clothes like i just want my stuff to come in the mail um i'm so tempted to go shopping but i'm doing my best not to shop because it really is a waste and as far as like space like i don't have enough space to be buying more clothes when I know I got hella clothes coming but I'm tired of recycling the same clothes so I don't know what I'm gonna wear tomorrow but anyway all that to say that um this feels like it's been just a busy week and the fact that I didn't even vlog on Sunday and Monday is like I mean it may not be a lot of footage because I don't know how well I've been vlogging I started off this week in a very really really bad slump <laughs> um but I'm out of it thank god and it's just been a long week for me um but yeah, let me go eat. I'll talk to y'all at some point. <laughs> Ooh, almost time to go. We're almost home. Today was a good day. It was a long day, but it was good. I got, I added another patient to my caseload, so I'm happy about that. Um, I had a lot of work to do, but by the end of the day, I looked at my checklist that I had. Basically, it was a running checklist for the whole day. And I only had like one or two more things on there. And both of those were like sort of like optional, like 
doesn't have to be done. So everything that I needed to do, I did. So I'm very happy about that. Um, except for my fit rep, which um, I don't even, like basically my evaluation for the year or whatever, but I'll, I can work on that next week. Um, the play got canceled, so I'm not gonna go to the play tonight. So now I'm debating if I should A, go shopping, which I feel like we haven't been shopping together in a while, because honestly I've been trying not to, or B, take myself out to eat which B is sounding like more and more um, more and more interesting because I'm hungry <laughs> right now. But if I take myself out, I wanted to get dressed, although y'all know I'm tired of wearing the same clothes, so I may not do that either. Um, so we'll see. I don't wanna, I know that this vlog doesn't have like a lot of footage right now. I'm going hiking again tomorrow, but I don't wanna just keep bombarding y'all with like, me hiking and stuff like that. Although I think it's gonna be a very beautiful view, I think. I know the waterfall was kind of like, it wasn't a bus, but it was kind of a bus view. Ooh. It was kind of a bus because um, the waterfall was dry, but this place is gonna be a lake. Sorry, I know my um, signal is loud, but this place is gonna be a lake. Um, so I'll probably like show y'all, but we won't do too much hiking together. But that, I just gotta figure out like what we gonna do for the rest of the vlog. This one I know is going to be short, um, so I just ask y'all to bear with me. Um, next week we'll get back to a regular scheduled program, but we'll see what this Friday has in store for us. on this couch <laughs> i left like after i started watching tv i was like okay i'm hungry and i was gonna order uber and i was like oh let me just go drive so it's this place that's been on the um <laughs> that's been on like uber eats called crispy chicken or something and i i ordered it like a week or two ago and it was really good like they had some really good like chicken tender so i'm like you know what let me just go and the place was like really close to my house so i'm like okay i don't remember seeing this restaurant but it was really good so let me just go find it maybe it's like behind the building or something y'all it was the gas station <laughs> like legit why is the gas station on uber eats and i definitely ordered it like a week ago so i was like i knew that i ate it before i knew that it was good so it was no discriminating i'm like let me just go ahead and order it again so i had me some crispy chicken and it was good um and i've been on this couch watching married to medicine that's my new <laughs> show if i haven't told y'all that um but I did get an order, so I want to go ahead and fulfill that order so we can do that kind of together. Um, I know I've done it in the last vlog. I'm a little bit annoyed because I don't have all of my stuff, like I told y'all a million times before. But um, I don't mind it because this part is kind of fun too. It's just right now I'm like the the creator. Of the, I'm everything. Every position in my company is me. And I don't mind it because it's just fun. It's like, I love the hands-on part of it. I just put that tape on so janky. I don't even, I don't think it matters, but it's like, girl, come on. Um, so she ordered four bottles of the four ounce, four four ounce bottles for these ones. Oh, excuse me. By the way, it's after 10 o'clock. So four of these. So first thing I want to do is make sure it fit in the box, but it does because these boxes are pretty big. Um, I actually plan on buying some boxes half this size. Um, I was going to order them tonight, but I was like, let me wait until I get closer to the end of these boxes because I just don't want to have like a whole bunch of stuff um, piling up in this portion of the house because right now this is kind of becoming the unofficial office and I haven't talked to anybody aka my family about this being an office so um i don't want to like pack it too much and plus i'm going to keep it like a nice living space like if we entertain and have people over i don't want them to be over here with just like my business stuff all over the place um but i'm just going to go ahead and put them inside of these 
Um, if I had my business cards, they would be coming in here too, but I don't. Um, did I show you guys these stickers? I think I did. Yeah, I showed you. So I've been dropping like the little stickers in there. My um, Elaine Gang stickers, which I love. And then the other one is the QR code. So if you're watching this and you're not already subscribed, go ahead and try that QR code and subscribe to my channel. But yeah, I'm going to drop one of those in the entire package instead of putting like two of them in. Or I'm going to put like one of each in the entire package instead of one of each in these. Um, so that's the next thing. I need to see how much oil I got left as a matter of fact. I didn't sell as fast as I thought I would, but I'm not tripping on it, honestly, because it's kind of like I'm getting my feet wet with work, like my actual job. Um, I've been consistent with YouTube, and then now kind of like trying to get my business back up and running. I haven't been promoting as much as I normally do, and usually I've been and had like all types of like hair videos on um, Instagram and stuff, which I haven't really done because I don't want to keep redoing my hair. So I'm not tripping too, too much. But, um, I will be happy when I get my, um, investment back. Like my, uh, the money that I put into it this time around. I'll be happy when I get that back, which is about to be pretty soon here. <clears throat> so anyway, I got the four things. Actually, I'm gonna put y'all down so I can see what I'm doing. Hold on. Alright, so like I said, I got the four, like, baggies. And what I want to do, um, or what I need to do, is actually go online and print the um, packing slips to make sure that this is exactly what she ordered. But I checked it on my phone earlier, and I know that's what it was. So let me double check. So I'm going to go to orders. I'm going to click on her name, which I know her. Oh, see, I'm glad that I double checked because she got two four ounce and then two two ounces. And she got the two ounce bottles that were already, um, that were pre-packaged, which I only have two of these left. Um, so she got two of these, so I'm glad that I double checked that. Um, so, excuse me, I'm so tired, y'all. I'm tired. Um, <clears throat> and I just set my alarm to get up at six o'clock because I'm gonna try and go ahead and do yoga that I was supposed to do today, y'all. I have not been this week. I don't know. I skipped two workouts. I skipped Monday's workout and then I skipped today, which it, I, I could still do it, but I know I'm not. But I'm going to go ahead and get up and do my yoga in the morning before I go on my hike. Um, so let's see. You can either sit and be with all of these haters be on you. Wanna say it like me? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to write the note on the top up here. So anyway, that's what I'm doing for the night. Um, to try and get my yoga workout in that I missed last night so today is going to be a double workout day but I gotta hurry up because I'm meeting the ladies to go to uh, work hard pull into the hike and I'm meeting them at 8 15 at our normal walk place on Saturdays so I want to hurry up like that I'm pretty sure this workout's going to that's it 30 minutes <laughs> um I'm just using I'm back to my fancy today um I haven't been using it in a while uh oh what's going on there we go. Um, I haven't been using Fenty in a while, but this CeraVe that I bought last week or something to try and use on my face, not the um, not the face wash, but the actual um, healing ointment that I said I was going to try. I think I said it last week or the week before. It's breaking my face out because it's like Vaseline, you know what I'm saying? So it's just too thick for my face. So um, shout, shout out to the girl that it worked for, but my skin is not for this. So I'm gonna keep it because it's actually it's not for just your face to go all over your face anyway. Um, it is for uh, like if you have a scratch or something, you put it on there. So I'm gonna keep it, but I'm not gonna um, put it on my face anymore. So that said, um, I was like, let me just go back to the Fenty for today until I figure out what I'm gonna do. I do appreciate the CeraVe um, 
face wash. But tell me why yesterday when I was in the shower, I was washing my face. I ended up using body wash because y'all know I got the pumps in the shower. You can't see it from here, but you know I got the pumps. And I don't know, like my face wash is right there and then the pumps are right there. And I'm used to like pushing on the face wash, but I wasn't even thinking like showering can be such a mundane task that you don't even like pay attention to what you're doing. And I was just pumping and I like wash my face. I'm like, damn, this feels so good on my face today. And I'm like, this is not face wash, this is the body wash. But I don't know. I haven't had any adverse reactions, so <laughs> it is what it is. Um, but yeah, let me hurry up and go get my workout in or this uh, yoga going. You guys, honesty moment. As I was just setting up and I was like, okay, let me see if I can record a little bit of this yoga workout. My camera turned off and when I was in the bathroom, I pressed the, like I was trying to turn off the record and there was still water on my hands. And like water kind of went on the top of the button and kind of seeped through the camera. And I was like, oh, come on, Rebecca, you know better. And then when I was out here, my camera just turned off and I was like, oh my gosh, I messed up another camera. And like I was panicking and I was kind of like saying to myself, like, I can't believe you keep doing this. Like that's as bad as it'll get as far as like self-talk. Like I'm never going to like down myself like crazy, but I was like, I can't believe you just keep doing this. And then I told myself, I was like, you know what? Let's just take the battery out. We'll put another one in, but no matter what, we're going to go ahead and do this yoga because you are amped up and you need to come down because there's no way I'm going to start my day off like that and I put the other battery in and it's working <laughs> um, so I'm very happy about that but I just I don't know like I really was so frustrated in that moment and I'm glad that I made the decision to just be calm and just like still go about my day but all that to say I need to just go ahead and do this workout so um let's just all right y'all we are outside we're starting i honestly don't know how far we're going but um we are starting and i'll let y'all know how it goes there's four of us today it's the girl trek ladies We made it to the end. We did about two and a half miles. It was nice. It wasn't super, super tough. The the way coming up was a lot more tough because well, obviously we were coming up with the incline. Sometimes one in my eye, but it was fun. I still got things to do today. Y'all need to clean the house. I need to go shopping for a couple things like a best friend and stuff. I don't know. Well, we're gonna hang out. So let me go home, shower, change, and we'll be back. Hey y'all. I am out and about. It's a couple hours later. Not too many though. Um, right now I'm in front of Burlington. I was on my way to Michael's, but then I saw Burlington and I was like, well, let me go ahead and stop here. Old Navy is right there too. So I might go ahead and stop, but I just wanted to let y'all know what was going on. <laughs> y'all know when I get off real quick, I gotta answer the phone. All right, y'all, they had some cute stuff in there, but to be honest, um, I didn't even pay too much attention because I didn't tell y'all today is a Pokemon event. <laughs> it's community day and I didn't have service in there. And I was like, um, this is a time limited event. <laughs> so if I don't have service, I can't be in here. So I'm just go ahead and go to where I originally wanted to go, which is Michael's. So I need to put it in my GPS. For the bathroom, I might need like three of them, or oh, maybe two. Yeah, that's full enough. I like that. Yeah, I made it to the mall, and I'm not gonna lie, this is my first time like vlogging in the mall, and I don't know how I feel. Like, I already went to the store, and I was like, I probably can be vlogging this, but I don't really feel comfortable doing that. But I did get some kicks, not for me though, for my kiddo. So now I'm just see what else they got. Oh, they got like a little resale shop right here in the middle. Ooh, I love these. Y'all know I love me some green. Those are fly. This is my size right here. Ooh, these are cute. Those are women's though. 
They got the Yeezy joints. They got a couple little pieces in here. Ooh, these are fly. That's a six. That's my size. I don't think I need no more Jordan ones though. Y'all, just so y'all know, I made my way to Zara. So far, I got two pairs of pants, some leather pants, which I love me some leather pants, and then some black jeans. Trying not to buy too much. I know I got stuff coming. I keep saying it, but these are cute, and I need clothes. Well, y'all, I can't even lie. <laughs> I feel like I got more steps in at the mall just now than I did during my hike this morning. <laughs> but um, basically, I went to, I mean, I went to a couple different stores, but I got something out of Nordstrom. I just got a t-shirt out of there, and... It might be easier if I show y'all at home. So I, I bought something out of Nordstrom, Zara, and Champs, um, and that was it. But now we need to figure out what we are going to eat, which I don't know. I, I really was thinking Cheesecake Factory, but uh, I feel like I do that too much. All right, you guys, I'm home. So let's do a quick collective haul so I can eat. I ended up just getting a burger and a shake from the local spot by my house, which they had a... Um, a pumpkin spice shake so we'll try it and i got a lot going on with my burger but um i'm gonna eat that once i do this um all right so let's do i just put a lot of stuff in here because i basically have about buy bags wherever i'm at so i had a lot of stuff in the back of my car without bags so um i got these <laughs> to go in the bathroom i just picked up some socks nothing crazy for my guy Y'all know we got to make sure our men's are taken care of. I'm going to just put some socks in his dresser. This is actually the jacket that I wore hiking, so I need to put it in the closet. But I'm going to just do that tomorrow when I'm cleaning up. Um, so actually from Nordstrom, I just got one t-shirt. Or it's like a, a long sleeve t-shirt, but I like it a lot. It's just a gray joint um from essentials i love the way that like the neckline of their shirts are oh speaking okay let me show y'all this <laughs> and then speaking of shirts so this is what i got um i was happy to see it in nordstrom um because they be damn taxing in the resale stores and i'm not gonna buy them or buy them for the prices that they selling them for in the resale so resale but they did have it that's just folded ugly and honestly i'm gonna hang it up so let me just put it over here but speaking of shirts do y'all see my shirt it says temple on the front and the back <laughs> the back says a couple little things that i didn't know it necessarily said when i bought it it's nothing bad but i'm like bashful um but i'll just kind of put it on the screen um but i got it from i am divine she has a youtube channel here you guys probably know her from um like her sensual sort of um content that she posts on instagram and she's also on tiktok um but i had to make sure i support and you guys should too she has her um store i think linked to all of her handles that i just talked about so this temple shirt was so fly and it looked really good with my sneakers today so i was happy um because y'all know i'm in the process of recycling clothes until the rest of my clothes get here so um i was happy that i was able to kind of pick something else like new with my new kicks um anyway um i did buy two pairs of jeans because honestly the jeans that i have on today i am so over them but i have these the jeans that i bought from zara um maybe like a month or two ago uh, when i first got here and like some camo pants and that's it because i came in the summer and i really thought that it was going to be hot which it has been hot but i thought i was gonna get my stuff before it got cold but it is starting to cool off for real for real so i need some pants um so i try to get pants that i know i don't already have although i do already have both of these kinds of pants but not from zara and i am kind of transitioning to getting my jeans and stuff from there because they fit really well like really well um so anyway i got these this is the wash um, kind of like the black kind of acid wash and um they're just kind of like a straight leg nothing too crazy it's, it kind of looks like a mom jeans to me oh <laughs> look classic fit mom i literally didn't see that when i bought it but that these jeans are mom jeans too and i do like them but they're short because i bought them in japan if they were longer i wouldn't even care um and i don't necessarily love the wash of the jeans that i have on now um but these have a cute little slit in there so I love these and Zara makes really good quality clothes, especially their jeans. I was sleeping on their jeans because I didn't want to pay the price, but these were on sale for $30. So yeah, your girl got them. Um, 
So I need to put that away in the closet. And then I got some leather pants, which they're high-waisted. And I already have some high-waisted leather pants. But the ones I have don't have um, a zipper. So I like that. And the ones that I have don't have pockets, which this one had the design of a pocket. But it's not really pockets. <laughs> but that's okay because I knew that when I before I paid for it. Um, but I also like this design right here in the front. And then I loved the zipper on the side. So you can definitely like, you know, style them up, up or down. So I was thinking I can wear these with like some combat boot type of um, shoes. Or I can wear it with like the Jordan ones I had on today or any other pair of Jordan ones that I have. You can wear this with like some cute heels. These can be dressed up and down so many different ways just because of that split in the side, in the seam. So these are a winner, winner chicken dinner. And last but not least... New kicks for my, my little mini BFF. Um, so me and his dad honestly love these. But they didn't have either of our size. Well, actually, I didn't ask about my size. But I think these will look good on him. So that's it. I'm about to eat my burger. And honestly, just chill out, finish watching TV. I need to edit this. I haven't edited anything, y'all. Like, usually I edit, I start my editing process on um, Wednesday, and it's basically done by today. Like, so usually I only have to add Saturday, and then that's it. Or, yeah, because I'll edit as I go. So I'll start on Wednesday, so everything from, like, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then throughout the week, I'll add the rest. So by this point today, I will only be adding today. Um, I am so far behind. Honestly, this week just... It, it started off really rough for me um but if you made it this far in the vlog i really appreciate you for rocking with me because i honestly don't know how it's gonna look i i feel like i captured enough footage to like put together something that's like nice and still the quality that i have been putting out on a consistent basis over the last like two month or two but i don't know so if you're still here, make sure you drop me like a hand clap or something for pushing through because I didn't think that we were going to get a vlog, but we got one. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. And if so, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Go ahead and give me a hand clap as a comment or comment anything that you would like below. Um, if you haven't done so already, please, please, con <laughs> please consider subscribing to my channel. Um, and I would be so appreciative of that. You guys, I've actually been on a mission to 10K. Um, and we are so close to 6K, like so close. So if we can get to 6K by the end of this vlog, I'll be so happy with that. Um, so make sure you guys subscribe. And I'll just catch you all on the next one. Peace.